Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to talk about this guitar a little bit. Um, had a customer bring me a Lyle uh, Gibson Hummingbird copy. Um, it's got this crazy big bridge on it with a adjustable tunematic bridge, which is uh, not my favorite thing that acoustic guitar people have done over the years, but it does work and it's got nylon saddles in it, so whatever. Um, this guitar came to me in pretty sad shape. Um, and I, it's, it's always hard to like think of where to, where to start. Um, for one thing, the body had come undone. The back had come undone here, uh, this entire area where you see my finger. So I had to get it all glued back down, uh, sanded down, had to do some refinishing work on it um get it back in place uh, when i was done with that i noticed that it was split from here all the way through to here so i had to uh, get it back together there uh, once again get it all sanded down and pretty again um, and then when i was done with that i noticed there was uh, another spot up here where it was uh, coming undone so i fixed that too um, the case that this is in, uh, it got shipped in apparently, and it's not a very nice case. So uh, unfortunately, the guitar suffered as a result. Um, now, this guitar, um, first of all, this is from around 1970-ish. Um, it has no serial number on it, um, but I kind of looked around at other ones that were on the internet, and uh, somewhere around 1970 um, this is a W415. Uh, like I said, it's a, it's a hummingbird copy. Um, from what I understand from reading about them, they are mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck, and a spruce top. The top is not particularly thick, and it has suffered through the years. Um, you may not be able to see on camera, but it's got a pretty good belly hump here. Um, the, uh, reinforcement plate that they put on the underside of acoustic guitars on the bridge here um, stops right about the same as the back of the bridge which is where the most tension is pulling up from the tension of the string so in the future this guitar really needs for the original one to be taken off and for a bigger plate that goes further back in the body to be put on um, so we can take a little bit of that bow out and make it a little bit stronger. Um, that would really take a lot of that bow out because uh, it's not that bad at this point. Um, other things, I did have to re-glue some of the braces inside. Um, the frets on this guitar from the factory were just not good. They're, they're not well done. Um, they were done by somebody in a factory setting who was trying to get cheap guitars out as fast as possible. Um, so they're not really great frets. They don't all go completely to the end of the board. Um, what else? Uh, the, the bevel is too far in. Um, so it was really difficult, uh, you know, getting everything happy uh, so close to the bevels on the ends of the frets. Excuse me. So... Um, yeah, lots of structural fixes. I uh, got the bridge and the ultrasonic cleaner that I just got, so it's like brand new again. Um, I did a full fret level and recrown and polish. Um, I filled in a lot of spots on the outsides of the uh, inlays um, that were just not happy. They weren't well done. They weren't filled in. There was some some good holes, but I've got them looking pretty good and, and filled in. They're not going to go anywhere now. Um, I was able to just keep the original nut on there. Um, I did have to take the tuners apart and screw them back together. Um, yeah, other than that, just a lot of uh, buffing, cleaning, polishing, and all that fun stuff. And uh, I was able to lubricate the uh, truss rod nut and get the truss rod moving nicely. And uh, it uh, it has come out pretty good. It looks like a, you know, I, I didn't make it perfect, but... Uh, it looks like a guitar that's been really well taken care of. Um, I, I told uh, the, the person whose guitar this is that eventually it's going to need a full refret to be really good, um, as well as that bridge plate. And it's one of those things, um, you know, they're not super, uh, you know, worth a whole lot of money. Um, 
but this is a, it's a, it's a pretty well built guitar and with some improvements and some love, uh, it could be even better. But uh, I got the action down to where it's nice and playable and uh, she sounds... <laughs> Sounds pretty darn good. Um, definitely a lot more playable now than it was when I first got it and uh, hopefully the customer will be happy with it and maybe we can uh, do some more to it later but uh, just thought I'd show that to you guys and uh, just get it out there you know. Old things that uh, seem like they might be too far gone they're probably not. Just take some time so that's it.